It sure was nice of your uncle to lend us his boat, Thalma. Yeah, it's a beauty. Even has a radio. And police are still without clue to the mysterious disappearance of two million dollars worth of Indian pearls stolen from the airport customs building. It sure is a mystery how those crooks got the pearls out. The paper said that the customs building was built like a vault and the door was locked. Yeah, the only one inside was that million-year-old shark monster. And he couldn't have done it. Hey, Fred, look out! Are you two alright? Sure, we're absolutely fine. Jeepers, it looks like we're stuck on this beach. And like we'll never get up that cliff. Maybe we can make it. All we need is our anchor, a rope, and a little bit of Yankee ingenuity. We're almost to the top, and then we'll be safe. Well, we made it. Yeah, but like it's so foggy I can barely see anything. Come on, we have to find a phone to call for help. Look! We're inside Aqualand. Hey, we climbed all the way up into the aquarium. <laughs> like we knew it all the time, didn't we, Scoob? <laughs> <laughs> and do you hear a low, scary creak? Uh-huh. A low, scary creak? That's our cue to skidoo! Faster! He's gaining on us! <laughs> you can run faster! You've got more feet! Wow, that was really creepy. At least we got away from that creepy demon shark. Yeah, but not far enough. Not so fast. There's a mystery here to be solved. Do you want everyone to think you're a coward? Well, when you put it like that... Yes! yes. Hold it, Shag. Fred's right. Let's start looking for clues and see if we can get to the bottom of this mystery. Look! M. Dreyfus, manager. Hey, there's a light on. He must be working late. Maybe he can answer some questions about that demon shark. Ah, then you've already seen the demon shark. I have reason to believe that our biologist, Professor Beaker, brought the creature back to life. You mean he gave life to a creature that's been dead for a million years? Yes, my assistant, Mr. Wells, told me that Beaker has a book of spells. A book of spells? Ancient Hindu spells that can revive the dead. Hmm? I think Professor Beaker used it to cast a spell on the creature. Like I wish we had a spell that could bring that creature back to dead. 
Hey, Shag, that's a great idea. Let's talk to Professor Beaker and see if we can get a look at that book. Impossible! I tell you, Mr. Dreyfus is seeing things. He's not the only one, Professor. We've seen the monster, too. Uh huh. That's nonsense. Ever since it arrived last week from India, it's been in this room, right here. What about the book of spells Mr. Dreyfus said you had? Book of spells? I... Uh, well, there was a book of spells. Mr. Wells, the assistant manager, showed it to me once. But I haven't seen it in weeks. Thanks, Professor Baker. I think we ought to have a chat with Mr. Wells. He is not in his office, no telling where he is. Don't worry, Professor. We'll find him. We've talked to the Professor and Dreyfus, and someone isn't telling the truth. The key to this mystery is that book of spells. Then we'll find out what's really going on. Right, so let's split up and look for that book in Mr. Wells. I wonder where Mr. Wells could be. It won't be easy finding him in all this fog. Oh my gosh! What's that? Oh, you must be Mr. Wells, I hope. That's right. What are you doing here? Uh, looking for you. We'd like to ask a few questions about that demon shark. You mean, you've seen him? Twice. Twice too often. You better come with me to my office and tell me everything you can. And Professor Beaker said that you had the Book of Hindu Spells. I remember Beaker reading it, but I haven't seen it since. And you say you've never actually seen the Demon Shark? Never. That is except the frozen specimen in Beaker's laboratory. What? A secret drawer? Yes, cabinet work is my hobby. When this cabinet is finished, it'll have seven secret compartments and a false bottom. Thanks for the help, Mr. Wells. Maybe later you can show us some more of your work. Right now, we've got to find that book of spells. I hope you find it. Good luck. Like, I guess the pie-in-the-sky kitchen is as good a place as any to start looking for clues. Right, Scoob? Rip. Raggy Rook. Do you think that could be the spell book? Like, man, I hope it is. Riru. Like, man, we hit the jackpot, Scoob. Secret spells of gastronomy. Boy, are we gonna give that demon shark a big surprise. We're probably wasting our time searching Beaker's laboratory. You're probably right, but we have to be sure. Say, what's that? That's strange. There's nothing but empty oyster crates. From Sam's Fish Market. Why would an aquarium buy oysters from a fish market? I hate to say it, but there's something very fishy going on. Phew. I think we ditched him, Scooby. Come on, we have to go and tell the gang what we found. Uh-oh, look. The book's on that rock in the middle of the pond. We have to get it back before old Shark Face comes back. Raggy Rook. Scuba Gear Locker Room. Great idea, Scoob. Just what we need to get that book. <laughs> Shh, come on. This is our chance to search for the spell book in Mr. Dreyfus's office. Look, this brochure was lying on the desk. What is it? An ad for the forthcoming exhibit of rare Indian pearls at the county museum. The same pearls that were stolen last week from the airport. And look at this. It's a shipping order to ship oysters from here to the Aqualand in Florida. Oysters? Something tells me that Mr. Dreyfus will bear watching. Come on, let's find Shaggy and Scooby.
<laughs> we sure pulled a number over those crazy crabs that were down there. Rare. <laughs> well, let's see what we managed to catch. Gee, why so many oysters? Well, at least we got the spell book back. Yow! Stupid crab. Jinkies, what in the world is going on? Like that big crab bit my toe. Boy, you really are something, Shaggy. We spend all night searching for the spell book, whilst you and Scooby play around with crabs and oysters. Playing around? It just so happens that we found the spell book. Secret spells of gastronomy? You really hit the jackpot, Shaggy. Listen to this spell. Boil spaghetti for 10 minutes, add anchovies, clam sauce, tomatoes, and simmer over a low heat. Like what? Gastronomy means good eating. What you found is a cookbook. Like, oh man. Zoinks! It's the demon shark! I think he wants the oysters. And I think you better give them to him, Shaggy. Like, okay. Here you go. What's a ghost gonna do with all those oysters? I don't know about him, but if it was me, I'd fry them in butter and sprinkle a little salt over them. <laughs> Would you stop thinking about food for five seconds? Hmm. Are there any more oysters down there? Hundreds of them. I think I'm beginning to see what's been going on. We've had a lot of clues and just didn't put them together. You're right, Fred. And if you're thinking what I'm thinking, then old Creepy's gonna come back for the rest of those oysters. Exactly. So we better arrange a little welcoming party. <laughs> We captured the demon shark. Like, are you okay, Scooby? Rare. Ruby Roo. Ruh -roh. <gasps> Pearls! Like I've heard of Oysters Rockefeller, but this is ridiculous. It's not ridiculous at all. Right, Fred? Right. It all adds up to the solution to the mystery of the ghost of the demon shark. Now let's see if he's who we think he is. It's him, all right. Mr. Wells. I still don't understand how you solved the mystery. It's simple, Professor. The real demon shark is still on ice in your laboratory. Yes? But Wells used this costume to make it seem that the demon shark had actually come to life. But why would he do that? Because he wanted to scare Dreyfus, the manager, off the job. Why Dreyfus? To answer that, let's start off with the crime. Whilst Wells was in India dredging up the demon, he read about the jewel shipment and arranged for the demon to be shipped on the same flight. Then Wells used his expert skill at cabinet making to construct a hiding place for himself in the base of the real demon's cabinet. Then after the guards had locked the customs building, he sneaked out, snatched the pearls and ducked back in. So now he had the pearls. But why did he want to scare away Mr. Dreyfus? Wells had hidden the pearls inside some frozen oysters from Sam's fish market. And then he put them in the tank with the live oysters intending to ship them out of the state to another Aqualand in Florida, where he could pick them up later. It was the only way to get the pearls past all the police roadblocks. But like Mr. Dreyfus wouldn't permit the shipment, so he used the disguise of the demon shark to try and scare him away. Then he could take over the manager's job and authorize the oyster shipments himself. Then all that searching you did was a waste of time. Right on. <laughs> Wells was just trying to confuse everyone. But you kids don't fool easy, and you showed up just in time to foul up his plan. Scooby-dooby-doo!